All right, it's time. So much better. So you guys, I think we're gonna open the door. We're gonna try it. Because we gotta fix this diesel heater. So we run the risk of not being able to close the door, right? That's yeah. the risk. Once it's open, it might stay open. Oh wait, no. We're good, baby. Really? Well. Is this the what's uh, the I issue? Think that's the only thing hitting it. Just need to shave this off a little bit. Yeah. Really just gotta smash that down. Yeah, nothing a little hammer can't fix. I got a hammer. Perfect. Alright, that's good. Oh, it's perfect! You did it! Fixed door, baby. Oh, man. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite thing, things. 10 things that I can't live without in van life. Thing number one, and I think you know the answer to this one, that is my sunset lamps. It's under the bush here, but this one specifically I like because you can mount it to tripods, all kinds of stuff, but sunset lamps. Number two is what the sunset lamp is attached to. That is these small rig arm clamps. I can't do this with one hand. They're great. You can maneuver them however you want. I know I mentioned this in the van tour video, but these are definitely up there. So number, number two on the list, arm clamp things. And all these things are not really just for van life, obviously. You can use these in normal life. Um, I'll fix that later. This $25 lamp is my favorite. And I have theater tape that it's stuck to. Theater tape is definitely on the list. I use it for everything. It's what's got my googly-eyed rocks all stuck. Like, things aren't going anywhere. My plants that are dying. That's like four or five things already. One thing I really like, and I know some of you have enjoyed it, is my record player, the briefcase thing. This is just a Victrola, however you say that. Uh, it's only like 60 bucks. Got some records from my grandparents' and parents' house. Mmm. My little painting kit here. I just have a little pouch with paints and paint brushes and for art projects. I think that's fun to do from time to time. And if you ever have friends over, like, hey, you want to have arts and crafts night? My galaxy lamp is definitely a big hit. I recommend it. It's only like 40 bucks. Maybe that's not cheap, but... I think it's totally worth it. It's not very big either. In the pictures, I thought it'd be big, but it's it, it's not. Can you tell? I, I don't really plan these videos out. I don't... I mean, I guess these carbon monoxide detectors, I have three of them throughout the van. I trust that they work. I feel like they should be a thousand dollar device, not, you know, 30 bucks to protect your life. I mean, detecting invisible scentless air. I have a toast oven of back here which I really like making toast in or if I have sandwiches I can toast them. It's cheap. It's only like 25 bucks like everything in my van and it looks good. Here it is. There's a chair in the way but I mean that looks pretty cool right? My VR goggles are pretty fun. I use them almost never but I like having them. Created, created, created. Thought I told y'all that it's my world. They ain't try me yet. Get some mind blown when they throw shade. That's when I glow. I'm so ahead of y'all. That's a different time zone. Ooh, I gotta go. I've been working, told them please don't hit my phone. I'm in my zone, bruh. Just leave me alone. Was on the road, but I swear I'm coming home. Now the drinks on me, I think we need a toast. See, I did it for me.
can't figure out the lights in this place. So I have to keep that in there for the lights to stay on? Here's my view. But it's as big as a van. It's supposed to storm tonight. Hopefully it doesn't. Uh, we got our 200 drone show and looking forward to looking forward to filming it. I'm looking really symmetrical today. I got a zit here and one here. So I got oh. <laughs> So I got that going for me. emotionally attached to this one. I feel like he has no friends. back in Detroit. So, let me explain what happened on this trip. We're doing a drone show for Pompano, Florida. It's Saturday night, game time, it's show time. We're setting up, weather's looking a little iffy, we're prepared, we're always prepared if there's rain, we kind of have a whole system to protect the drones. But we're looking good. Everything seems to be on, on schedule. Thousands of people in the crowd on the pier and all of a sudden we see on the radar rain in five minutes. So we're scrambling, we're doing our thing to protect the drones and the equipment. And then suddenly we had 60 mile per hour winds, rain coming at us sideways, sand slapping us. It was, it was one of the craziest storms I've ever witnessed, let alone just be standing in for 40 minutes. I think Connor, why did you get that? That's so stupid. Couple, couple reasons. For some fun videography stuff, you can people to use these in like music videos or whatever creative stuff where you can you can overlay something on the screen. Uh, I think it just looks cool. I like the color, but it also came with this stand here, which is kind of it's not the sturdiest thing. I don't know how well it's going to do in a van. And I might put it where the door is over here. I think I'm really committing to never opening that sliding door unless I really have to. I can open it from the inside, just not the outside, because again, I ripped the door handle off with my incredible strength. I mean, I know it's ridiculous, but gotta have fun in life. That's what I always say.
that's not going anywhere. Got all my photos in here. I have to have my pictures when I travel. What's your favorite part of the van? Uh, is it that? Yeah, the skyline. <laughs> How does this keep happening? Ah! I need to know everything. Who in the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything.